WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hitting record territory, NASDAQ hitting 9,000 for the first time, S&Ps at a record territory as well. Right now, Dow Jones up 55 points, trading 28,571. S&P's positive by 11, trading at 32.34. NASDAQ positive by 58 points. Apple having quite a day, putting a bid into the NASDAQ. NASDAQ at 9,011. The first time I've said that 9,000 handle. Russell actually negative by less than a point, but off versus the other indices. The Russell trading 16.77. We'll start things off. Let's jump over the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. 28,559. Pretty tight trading range, low volume, holiday trading following the Christmas holiday. We were up there at 28,582 at one point. We're about 20 points off that level in the Dow, trading 28,559. NASDAQ 100, check out that NASDAQ run. Even from early this morning, we were at 87.40. We're now a solid 50 NASDAQ 100 points above that level, trading 87.89. There's your S&P 500. Looking at the March futures contract, a high of 32 37. The previous high, I believe, 32.34. We're currently trading 32.36. That would be a record close if we close where we are. Natural gas jumping around. Natural gas trading at 2.27 right now. We get natural gas inventories tomorrow because of the holiday at 10.30 a.m. Crude oil, we get crude numbers at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Crude catching a bid 61.71. And how about the gold contract continuing the run we had on Friday? Gold, Friday hitting 1500 for the first time in a couple months. Today, extending those gains, you have gold, February gold trading at 1516. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, as I mentioned, quite a banner day. NASDAQ hitting 9000 for the first time. S&P 500 reaches an all time high in year end rally as well. We also have weekly jobless claims coming in this morning. The market liking these numbers. Unemployment benefits decreasing to 13,000 for 222,000. The week ended December 21st. And as we wrap it up, as I mentioned, how about Apple? Now up 1.4% for the day as they continue quite a banner year for Apple. Stay tuned, folks. We got a replay this hour, but Tom O'Brien coming up live at 3 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live at 3 to wrap up the trading day. We'll be right back, folks.